Hello DJs, Jason here from BarkshireWeddingDJ.com with yet another review. Uh, something that I saw on eBay, the Neo Neon LED Gobo 3. Now, knowing that Gobo projectors are normally quite expensive, and I was looking for some options uh, for some of the weddings that I do where we can uh, project up uh, the bride and groom's initials. It didn't need to be super white. As you can see, some of the specs are on the side of the box, and this is the box that arrived. Quite well wrapped, I hasten to add. Uh, 5 watt whiter LED. Now, I'm not sure what a whiter LED, whiter than what? Uh, but I wasn't sure about this company, Neo Neon, I hadn't heard of it before, but I checked their website out and they do a wide range of lighting, high quality lighting, so that kind of gave me a bit more confidence. Uh, this is exactly an unboxing really, uh, this is what was inside as you can see, it's, it's wrapped how you would expect it to be wrapped. User manual, showed you the actual part number there, and uh, you know, nothing unusual, you'd expect to get this in any, any product, but well packed and I was quite pleased with that. The cable is a good quality cable, reasonably long, I think about a meter, meter, meter ish. So uh, a few things that I have bought have had ridiculously short cables, you know, perhaps you know, 6 inches, 12 inches, something like that, just not long enough. Uh, it gives you full um, hanging instructions and uh, how to install the go-go, you can see, you know, not, not going to stretch you too much. And now the type of gobos it takes is something that's been about, you'll see a little bit later on, I'll show you, but it's uh, the 35 millimeter film negative type. Now I think there's a lot of firms that do these quite cheaply. As an alternative, uh, you can use transparency and print on the transparency paper and print on it, but it's not paper, is it? But I think they're just called plastic transparencies, uh, overhead projectors. The case actually was very well made. It had uh, like a, a smooth hammerite finish, quite industrial, quite heavy, uh, or built heavy, heavily. The only thing that was a bit disappointing is when you actually look at the lens, it was just glued in with looked like a glue gun. It was a little bit messy, but it didn't really affect how it projected onto the wall. But, you know, that was the only thing that concerned me. Uh, easy to undo to change the gobo. It's just one of these little thumb screws. And again, quite industrial in how it's put together, quite solid. There you go. And I'll show you again a little bit later on how you get that bit of film out, because that's all it is in there, a little bit of film. Hopefully it'll focus in a minute. There you go. Of course, you could always reverse the image if you were back projecting, which that's something I thought this may be useful for. back in again. It's quite hard doing this one-handedly when you're holding the camera or still haven't found my tripods with an S yet. I've gone disappearing. See, UK British pl plugs supplied with. Back in the machine, half an amp, 250 volt fuse. The power on this actually is uh, for, Brit for British use, as you can see. There's that long cable I was talking about, but about a meter, I think. Not too bad at all. Now, I think they're designed really for perhaps putting up in a shop uh, on the ceiling and pointing down onto the floor. Hence, you know, showing the logo of the company or a, a certain product. But as a DJ, we can utilize this. Now, this was with the light on in my dining room. So it had a, it is an LED bulb. It's about a 60 watt bulb. And then I turn that light off just to show you kind of ambient lighting and you can see the difference there. And then with the lights off totally and you can see it's quite bright, surprisingly bright. Now that the throw on that was about 20 foot, something like that. And that gave you about a three, four foot uh, span on the, on the projection. There's my faithful blind, so I took it into the front room and uh, it was actually f quite hard to find somewhere to project it, but uh, it'll give you an example of something that perhaps you could do. And then with the lights totally off. So quite bright, bright enough I think for a gobo, you don't want it too bright, you don't want it dazzling people. So I thought, oh we'll go outside, but really it wasn't an effective um, demonstration. I was hoping we'd be able to see some back projection, but we couldn't really. So just a little close up there. Oh, I wanted to just show you the, 
the film on the gobo again and the lighting and the, and the cloth is actually different because it was a couple of days later I filmed this because I just thought you know what if someone might be interested in the actual gobo and how it, you get it out and you can see there's actually four screws there now I had a bit of trouble getting them out they were quite tight and quite soft screws which surprised me because the rest of the construction was quite you know as I said industrial quite hardy where these screws were quite soft so uh, anyway there you go prove I got two of them out at least and I was hoping we'd just be able to slide that film out but I couldn't so I had to take another one out and uh, but that final one I couldn't get out I just couldn't get it out without mashing it up so but it was alright the film came out I'll play with that again at a later stage perhaps even replace those screws but as you can see it is 35 millimeter film negative I, I believe or, uh, slide that's really what it is a slide and there are companies that will make them up for you in full color so definitely available but you can uh, buy blank transparencies and just photocopy onto it or print onto it. Slide straight in. I'll be making another video just showing you how perhaps that will look with some of my homemade gobos on there. Hopefully they're going to look okay. Anyway, that's enough from me. Jason from Berkshire Wedding DJ. I hope that was of use to you. Neon, Neo Neon LED Gobo 3. Thanks for watching. As always, stay mobile.